As children, we read books about magical lands and beautiful places that we can't imagine. For me, every time I dive into the kelp forest, it's like finding out that those magical fairy tale places are real. Kelp is part of that carbon cycle to which we can thank for the very oxygen we breathe. And that structure is a home for a bunch of different little tiny creatures that need that space to survive. Kelp forests cover five times the area as coral reefs globally, and yet they're virtually unknown to, to sort of the general public. When you lose a primary producer, that's something that feeds the rest of the food chain. And this entire ecosystem is worth about 8 billion US dollars per year uh, to the Australian economy. And that turns out to be about twice as much as the Great Barrier Reef. The significance of urchin barrens are, are beyond understanding, really. The scientists in California estimate that over 95% of kelp forests are gone. Essentially, we're smashing the urchins. If we don't do that, the urchin will maintain for a very long period of time. The warming in Southeast Australia is really problematic because kelp are home and most adapted to cold water. We're warming about three to four times faster than the global average. In many ways, we're a window into the future. You can't talk about kelp forests in the Pacific Northwest without talking about the sea otter. In the places where they had been reintroduced, uh, a lot of the coastal communities had sort of developed a way of life without the otter. The kelp that we've planted are producing their own recruits, they're reproductive, and they're establishing for the first time natural juveniles onto the surrounding reef. I'd only been diving for a couple of months when I picked up my first underwater camera. I wanted to show people what was down there. What I'm doing this for is for my daughter to be able to know what it's like to be in a pristine kelp forest. If we want our children to experience the same ocean we have, if we want to save thousands of species from extinction, we need to wake up. We need your help.